What's up guys, James Buzzer from Buzz Labs, and today we are going over the tutorial for Instabot.py. Instabot.py is an open source Python script that will allow you to automate the Instagram process. Let's go ahead and jump straight over to the lab, and I'll show you guys exactly how to get this done. <laughs> today's tutorial the first thing we're going to need to do is download visual studio code visual studio code is going to allow us to run the terminal as well as edit the text file we're going to need to edit to download visual studio code navigate over to google type in visual studio code go ahead and find the link for the download hit download once you guys have visual studio code unzipped go ahead and run through the installer and make sure that the Python extension is installed. As soon as you have Visual Studio Code installed and the Python extension installed, you guys are gonna be good to go to move on to the next step. After we quickly install Visual Studio Code, we're gonna head back to Google and type in instabot.py. Go ahead and click on the very first link that you see. It's gonna take you to the GitHub page for instabot.py. Once downloaded, go ahead and unzip that file. I'm going to go ahead and move my folder over to the desktop in order to make this really easy. Now that we have Visual Studio Code installed, we've added our Python extension, and we've downloaded instabot.py from GitHub and added that to our desktop, now we're ready to install Python. To do that, we're going to navigate back over to Google and type in Python. Go ahead and run through the installer for Python for your system. This is a very quick installation and it only takes a couple seconds. Now we're ready to install the requirements needed for, to run instabot.py. Go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. If you're on a Mac, go ahead and hit View and then go down to Integrated Terminal. We're going to use the terminal built into Visual Studio Code in order to make things a little bit easier and make the workflow a little bit quicker. Now that we're in the terminal in Visual Studio Code, we're going to go ahead and install the requirements needed to run the bot. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is CD into your desktop where we originally moved the instabot.py master file. To do that, simply type CD desktop. And then we're going to move into our instabot.py master folder. Go ahead and type CD instabot.py master. After that, go ahead and type ls. This is going to list what is in that folder. Now we can see that requirements.txt file. We're going to go ahead and install the requirements right from here. To install the requirements, we're going to type in pip install dash r requirements. Now we just ran into a small issue with PIP needing to be upgraded. For the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and move on with the tutorial because it'll still work with this version of PIP, but I'm going to flash something on the screen right now for you guys to type into your terminal if you guys want to fix a really small upgrade issue. The next thing we're going to do is edit the example.py file inside of the instabot.py master folder. Now a quick disclaimer for this guys is you do not want to turn your account into a spam account. But right now we are going to turn off commenting and we're going to turn off following just in order to get the bot up and running today. Later on we're going to do a follow up video and I'm going to show you guys some more advanced settings in order to get your bot a little bit more exposure without becoming spammy. Now, to edit this file, go ahead and right click on it and then open it with Visual Studio Code. Starting right from the top of your example.py folder, the first thing you guys are gonna change is the username and password. Go ahead and leave the quotation marks, but edit 
out the username and the password portion with your corresponding username and password. After editing your username and password, the very first things that you guys are going to see are the like count. For the like count, I would recommend keeping it under 800 likes per day when you're very first starting. After the likes, you're going to go ahead and edit your comments per day. I would recommend starting off at zero comments per day until you get your bot up and running and have run it a couple times and know that it's successfully doing everything you need it to do. After changing that to a zero, go ahead and put in your hashtags that you guys want. After editing your hashtags, change the maximum likes for each hashtag. The default is set at 50. For the follow section, I would recommend keeping it at the default just for testing purposes and you guys can mess around with changing that if you want to raise it or lower it. Same thing with the unfollow, go ahead and leave it at the default for the testing purposes. The very last crucial setting you're going to want to change on your example.py file is the mode. Now I keep mine on mode 2, this will make sure that you do not unfollow anybody that currently follows you. After editing your example.py file, go ahead and save it. Now that we have our text file edited the way we want, we're going to go ahead and navigate back over to the github page in order to fix a small correction that's been made to the script. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that and this is a crucial step otherwise your bot is not going to work and uh, this is a good place to check up on in order to figure out if there's been any new fixes that have come out recently or if you're having an issue you guys can always write in yourself to, Instabot, to the guys that develop instabot.py and potentially get fixes within a day to any issue that you guys may be coming across. You guys navigate over to the GitHub page and find pull request 1078. We're gonna go ahead and copy all of that text and replace it in the user info.py file. Go ahead and find the user info.py file. Right click on that file and open it in Visual Studio Code. Go ahead and paste in everything that we just copied from GitHub. Go ahead and save and exit off of that file. Now we're ready to go ahead and try out our bot. To try out our bot, we're gonna go back to the example.py file inside of Visual Studio Code, right click, and hit run in terminal. This is gonna run the Python script in the terminal and log in to Instagram. If everything went correctly, we're gonna see a successful login and then it's gonna go ahead and start liking posts based on tags and anything else that we set it up to do. Congratulations guys, if everything just went successfully, we just set up our very first Instagram bot using instabot.py. I'm gonna go ahead and end this tutorial with a little bit of b-roll showing this bot in action as well as showing a couple screenshots from my phone with the results of what my bot is currently liking. another Buzz Labs tutorial. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell.